Hi, I'm Justin Spence, and we're talking about the Studio 192. The Studio 192 features a powerful onboard DSP mix engine that runs 16 instances of the Studio One Fat Channel plugin to create ultra low latency monitor mixes. Even better, if you like what you hear, you can record the Fat Channel dynamics in EQ. This DSP engine also provides complete command center functionality with speaker switching, talkback, and main mono dim options. UC Surface lets you control the onboard DSP, allowing you to create monitor mixes for any DAW application. But with Studio One, all the same functionality is built in. I'm gonna walk you through the basics of using the Studio 192 with Studio One. Let's get started. Once you've installed Studio One in UC Surface, launch UC Surface. You'll need this to run in the background to access all the DSP features from Studio One. Launch Studio One and click on Create a New Song. Click on the Interface tab, then find the Studio 192 template. This template creates and routes tracks for each input. As you can see, you have your Studio 192 preamp controls right here in the mixer. If you connect the ADAT I.O. to a DP88, you'll also have preamp controls for those inputs as well. This template also creates Z-Mix outputs. These can be added or subtracted from the Audio I.O. menu. Just open your outputs and check the Q-Mix box next to the output. This will add a Z-Mix object in the mixer. This gives you level control and pan for each track through this output. At the top of the channel in the mixer, you'll see a blue fat channel insert. This controls the fat channel plugin running on your Studio 192's internal DSP. If I want to listen back to the audio I've recorded through that same fat channel, I just drag the blue DSP plugin down into the channel insert. This inserts a native instance of the fat channel plugin into the mixer and automatically links it to the DSP version. So now, if I adjust the DSP plugin, the native plugin will also change and vice versa. Also, what I hear while I'm monitoring is what I hear when I play back. This makes punch-ins much easier. If I want to print my fat channel to my recorded audio, I just open the DSP plugin and click the Apply DSP to Input Signal button. I can also disable the Link to DSP option on the native plugin and have independent control over each plugin. All these settings are stored with your Studio One session, so you don't have to manage monitor mixers, preamp levels, and your mix in different locations. They're all right there in your Studio One session. For more information and in-depth tutorials, go to personas.com.